what the objective today was, uh, the reason that we were in court on a motion, was to ensure that this case, uh, which has been brought against Stephen Baber, namely, who on December the 4th, 2008, unlawfully uh, locked uh, two of my children, Stephen and Ryan Vincer, in his office under lock and key for just under two hours. We wanted to make sure that we were not going to be exhausting our energies and spending our energies arguing technicalities of the law and procedure. So because of that, what we have decided to do today is to, on consent, have the current action dismissed on a without prejudice basis whereby the action can be brought back before the courts as soon as we have the courts appoint a lawyer to represent the minor children. So then we will have a fresh action um, to hold the principal, the vice principal, and other parties responsible who enabled the very egregious and wanton action uh, against my, my two children who, um, as I mentioned, were locked up in the school principal's office under lock and key for just under two hours. Uh, this incident was brought to the attention of Patrick Lake, the executive director of York Children's Aid Society, and he agreed that what the principal did to the children was very wrong. At this time, it has come to my attention that Stephen Baber is still um, an active principal at J.L.R. Bell uh, Public School here in Newmarket, and it is very concerning to me, and as it should be to other parents, that a felonous uh, principal who had caused so much harm to two children uh, would be permitted to act and be a principal in a school um, having power and authority over children uh, where he has obviously uh, caused tremendous harm uh, to my two sons, Stephen and Ryan Vincer. We will be moving very rapidly to bring this matter back before the courts as quickly as we can have um, the courts appoint and assign a lawyer to represent the minor children. What needs to be understood is that this matter is not just about my two children. This matter is about all children in, in Ontario because currently uh, what the situation is is the protocol, the, the status quo, if you will, the understanding of school principals and other school staff is that they must follow the orders of what the Children's Aid tells them. And the reality is the Children's Aid Society must follow their, their rules that they're obligated to follow. But more importantly, uh, none of the acts can supersede uh, the Criminal Code of Canada and certainly not the, Char the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which forbids uh, that children be locked up uh, and detained arbitrarily by anyone. And we need to be sure that the public interest is met uh, so that this action will bring out, will flush out all of the uh, elements that are currently relied on um, by school officials, which um, has the effect of harming children. And that needs to stop.